time to hop back onto that Series 3 Ranked Double Ladder for you guys, but this time, using one of my favorite weathers of all time, we are rocking out with a Rain Team Pelipper and Surf Dondozo, also rocking out with Swift Swim Dread and all. This one should be fun. Hopefully, you grab yourselves a winning record or maybe even a perfect record for today's video. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. I also want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Nico. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. I will be linking his channel down in the description below. Definitely go check him out. Check out his original video if you guys want the Poke Pace and all that good stuff. But we got Don Dozo for our first Pokemon for today's team preview. And Don Dozo, obviously very, very good with Tatsugiri. But this time, we kind of want to use it a little bit different. We want to get the rain out and then swap into Tatsugiri so Don Dozo can get the boost. Because once we get that rain out, we can Terrasize in the water, start popping Surfs, which will hit both opposing Pokemons and do some crazy damage. Because you get some crazy boosts. You get the rain boost, the Terra boost, you get the Life Orb boost, you get the stat boost from Tatsugiri. It's just insane and can do some crazy damage. Now, those are as unaware as its ability, Wave Crash, Sleep Talk, Surf, and Protect. We have Tatsugiri in that second slot, mainly just there to hop in Dondozo's mouth and give it a boost, but it can get some work done by itself. It's got Chewy Scarf, Draco Meteor, Muddy Water, Icy Wind, and Helping Hand. We got Pelper in that third slot for our weather control and to set the rain. It's got Drizzle, the Damp Rock, so the, the rain lasts like eight turns, I think it is. Then we got Hurricane, Hydro Pump, Tailwind, and Protect, which I think is the best move set for any Pelper. Dragonite in our fourth slot. We're going to be pairing that up with Shen Pao today. Dragonite has Inner Focus, the Lumberry, E Speed, Ice Spinner, Thunder Punch, and Protect. Great move set with that normal Terror type to make E Speed do as much damage as it possibly can. We got Dreadnought in our fifth slot. Pairs up with Pelipper perfectly because it, it doubles its speed in the rain. It's got Swift Swim, the Choice Ban as item. Then it can do some crazy damage with Rock Slide, Waterfall, Terra Blast, and EQ. Final Pokemon is going to be my boy Shen Pal. Like I said, pairs up with that Dragonite really well, and it also pairs up with Don Dozo and Dreadnought really well. It's got Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch, Sacred Sword, and Protect, Swords of Ruin, and the Focus Ash, which I believe this is the best build for any Shen Pal. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Surf Don Dozo Rain team. First match coming at you guys, and I think leading Don Dozo and Pelipper is going to be a perfect lead for this. We're going up against Volcarona, Grim Snarl, who can set up screens. It's kind of definitely a little scary, but still, I think, we, I think we can work around it. They also have the Shen Pao, Halucha, Rotom, and Ting Lu. Ting Lu is really just here for a special attacker, so I think Don Dozo should be fine. So I'm going to lead Don Dozo. I'm going to bring Pelipper, and then I'm also going to have Tasugiri. And last but not least, I just think Shen Pao is going to be perfect here. Shen Pao is going to be nice in the back end. It has the Focus Sash. It can hit hard. It's uh, attack stat doesn't get dropped by Ting Lu. It's just perfect. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to get started things hot here. And grab ourselves a win here in match number one. So my plan here is to actually just lead down Dozo Pelipper. Have Pelipper set the rain. Possibly swap the Pelipper for Tatsugiri. And then just start throwing Serps. And Terrasize down Dozo at the same time. Because that could do some insane damage. But I believe Grimmsnarl is going to be a lead. And it is a lead. Um, I'm fine with that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. As long as he's not rocking fake out, which I don't know if this Grim Snarl is gonna be rocking fake out. Not too sure. Not too sure. But yeah, I'm ready to just terror pop surf and get after it that way, and then just hard swap. I think that's my play all day. Save my Pelper for the back end. I'm with it all day. So we're gonna swap the Pelper turn one. We're gonna get after it. We're hoping Grim Snarl is not a fake out Grim Snarl, and then we can get rolling from here, right? So if he fakes me out this turn, that could be a little rough, but still, I think we can still get around here. So we hop into the mouth, and we are looking to rip with Surf, because again, we're Terrasalizing here too, so we're plus two on attack, we're gonna get Rain Boost, Terror Boost, Life Orb Boost, insane, and Stab Boost, and Stab Boost. Insane amount of damage can come out here from these Surfs. And what is this thing popping? What do you got? What is it, what? Oh, no way you got Mirror Herb. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. This thing just Mirror herb my Don Dozo Boost. That is absurd, that's wild. That is wild. I was wondering, I was like, dude, why is this thing stats going? I was like, wait a minute. Halucha rocks mirror most of the time. If he's gonna rock into that, that is wild. So he's plus two on all stats. We need to we need to get rid of that thing. We need to just get rid of that. So he's gonna outspeed me. He's gonna do some big time damage. Hopefully we can just like rip into it, because I know his defensive stats isn't anything crazy. He's gonna opt to detect this turn, which is totally fine. And Grip Star, are you setting up a screen, parting shot? You're gonna set up a nice lovely screen. So screen comes out and about from him. That is fine. And surf is flying. We're looking to just go go for surfs, man. That's my plan for the rest of this match with Don Dozo. Just surf away. 
Surf away. So through the reflect, how much damage are we doing in this Grim Snarl? Actually, wait, that's a that's a special attacking move. Yes, Surf's a special attacking move. So good thing he set up a reflect. <laughs> I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I forgot Surf was special attacking. I'm just so used to Don Doza being physical attacking. So he opts to throw out Rotom here, which I don't really mind too much. We should be able to outspeed it. Wait, Surf should be special attacking. It is. So that reflect doesn't do anything to for us. Doesn't do anything to us. So again, I'm just going to keep throwing Surf's. It's my play all day. It's my play all day. Acrobat's going to fire here. We still soak like it's nothing. And Surf's going to fire here. And does it hit both of them? It does. Oh my lord. Don Dozo, stop it. Stop it. Halucha probably dead, right? Oh my lord. This thing is absurdly broken. Why is this my first time I'm seeing this? Thunderbolt is going to do a ridiculous amount of damage, but we just we just slapped up. We're slapping up right now. If I get one more turn with Don Dozo, that would be amazing. The Thunderbolt going to come out here. Can you soak this? You can. We know you outspeed Rotom. We need you to outspeed this last Pokemon. This is absurd. This is absurd. It's going to be Shen Pao. We do not outspeed, but maybe we can eat up. Maybe we can eat up a shot. Maybe we can eat up a shot here. Still going to go for the Surf. Obviously. Going for the Surf. If we can land the Surf, it's it's game set match. But we are still sitting in a very good position here. Shen Pao goes for the Protect for some reason. I don't know why he just didn't go for the Sucker Punch. And we're going to possibly be able to kill this Rotom. See you later, Rotom. Get on out my face. We are... <laughs> this thing is insane. Kill this thing. Kill the Rotom. Take it out. Oh my lord. Why is this the first time people are using this? This seems absurdly broken. This is my first time using it. I didn't warm up with any practice match. I am just absolutely tearing through our opponent right now. I'm going to go for a Surf. We're hoping they cancel, which they should. And we get the sweep with Don Dozo match number one. No, he doesn't. See, that's what he should have done turn one. That's what he should have did last turn. He should have did that, and then Rotom could have gotten off a free shot onto my Tatsukiri. And he could have went from there. But we had this match on wraps way before that. So from here, I'm just going to bring out my Shen Pao. I'm going to start throwing Sacred Swords. I'm going to start throwing, like, Drink of Meteors. I'm doing it all. I'm doing it all. Actually, Muddy Water would probably be our better move, right? Yeah, because it actually it's gonna, it has a chance of landing. Actually, end of stab. But Draco Meter has a higher chance of landing. So I'm going to throw Draco Meter. Plus, it looks a lot cooler. So he's going to opt to Terrasilize here. So a Terra... Ooh, Terra Ghost could be gnarly here. Terra Ghost would be gnarly. And it is. So he's going to dodge a Sacred Sword. Hold up. Wait a minute. Our opponent's giving us a little, a little run here, right? Our opponent's giving us a little run here. Draco Meter flies. Tatsugiri's landing this all day. Bringing you down to 1 HP. It's game, set, match. It's no problem. It's no problem. Is my Shen Pao outspeed? We do outspeed. So yeah, it's game, set, match. We're just going to start dropping Sucker Punches. So now we can constantly Sucker Punch and just win this win this matchup. And Tatsugiri ate up that shot. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The Sucker Punch coming in hot here. And then we'll just stay choice into the Draco Meteor. And that's game, set, match. There it is, Sucker Punch finishes off the Shen Pao, and Don Dozo was absolutely insane in match number one. Let's hop into our second match. Look to go back to back. Second match coming at you guys, and do I do it again? Do I go into Don Dozo and Pelt for turn one? I'm thinking about it, especially with who we're going up against. We're playing a Ting Lu team with Bax Caliber, Deli Bird. I like to call it Deli Deli Bird, and then um Wo Chen and. Glamora, and last but not least, they got Gargoyle and Alkal. So, Wo Cheng Glamora seems to be a little bit of a problem here, right? Wo Cheng Glamora can drop the physical attack stat, so I can definitely see that coming out here. And how can I play that one? I mean, Pelper's going to be a solid lead here. I might go Pelper and Dreadnought for the lead. I kind of like that, right? We have a special attacker, we have a physical attacker, both water. We have one that's going to be flying. So we can kind of get after both are Legends of Ruins Pokemon. So I'm actually going to lead that. And I'm just going to bring Shen Pao and Dragonite in the back end. I kind of like that better than Don Dozo and Tetsugiri combo this game. One, because we showcased it last battle. And plus, I just feel like he can definitely stop it with Wu Chen, right? Wu Chen comes out onto the field, maybe Leech seeds it up, gets leftovers, it drops the attack with its, uh, with its ability, and then it can just Giga Drain if it has it, get some HP back, all that good stuff. So we would pretty much just be wasting a lot. Because if you don't get any value out of your Don Dozo and you actually play it with the Tatsugiri, you pretty much lose that match. You need at least like one or two kills out of that Don Dozo in order for it to be valuable, right? Because it takes up so much, so much stuff, right? It takes up, 
it's it's two v oneing, and it just takes it just takes an extra Pokemon slot, so you needed to make up for that. Well, let's see who they end up leading. I'm just surprised it was that good in the last battle. They set up a Reflect instead of a Ledge Green, which I would have done the same thing. And the, uh, we were able to just get rid of the Grimstorm, no problem. But Glamora and Deli Deli Bird come out here. We got Swift Swim Dreadnought, who should be fastest on the field, no problem. Unless this thing's Booster Energy, which is a possibility, right? It is. Tis is Booster Energy. It is a Booster Energy. And can we saw it speed? I mean, I can rip it to a Hydro Pump here and just say, yo, see you later. Um... And I'm thinking of just doing that and just rock sliding here. I'm thinking of just choosing the rock slide. I could go grass terror blast, which would be sick. It would be wildly cool. But I'm thinking of just sticking with rock slide. That's my play all day. So he opts to just protect. We're hoping we could just land this uh, hydro pump and get rid of Glamora, right? Rock slide comes out here. Give me a flinch on Glamora if it is faster than Pelper. We'll see. The rock slide's flying. That's a big damage. Choice ban rock slide. We do set off the spikes though. Kind of annoying. Don't really like that. Can we go before Glamora? No, of course we don't. Of course we don't. Hurts the soul, man. And he gets off the poison. So poisons are flying here. Maybe I should just set up a tail in that turn. That could have been a really, really good turn from us. Could have been a beautiful turn. Hydro Pump does connect. I'm going to say bye bye to Glamours. And you are gone. You are gone. All right, so my whole team's going to be poisoned. That's a problem. Glamora did its work. It got the spikes down. It poisoned our Pokemon. It did exactly what it needed to do. I wish I would have Tailwind that turn, though. Tailwind probably would have been a better play. Considering we probably knew they were mortal spinning. We just didn't know he was protecting, right? I could have set up a Tailwind just kind of get after it this time. But is Wo Chen going to come out here? It is going to be that lovely little Wo Chen. The Wo Chen does come out here. Um, I feel like from here, we got to go into a Hurricane. And we got to stick with a Rock Slide. How fast are you, Drenol? I don't think you're faster than this... Uh, yeah, you're not going to be faster than, uh, you're not going to be faster than, what's it called, which kind of sucks. You're not going to be faster than Deli Bird, right? He's just going to freeze dry you, and you have to freeze dry him. Can we soak that? Probably not. No, yeah, no. All right, so he freeze dries the Pelipper down. Can we get rid of Deli Bird with this Rock Slide? I think we can. We just need to connect it. And yeah, Deli Bird should be gone. It soaks that. Wow. I'm actually very surprised. We had a flinch on Wood Challenge big time. And from here, I can just... E speed you right? E speed the deli bird down. KO that. You kind of go from there. Do I hard swap the uh Do I hard swap the dreadnought? Just so I could choice into a different move, like a water move. Or something a little bit different. I'm actually thinking what's called protects here. Deli bird's gonna protect. I actually think Deli Bird does protect, and I go into an ice spinner here. And I just swap it to my Shen Pao. That's going to be my read. I need to make a read here. He ends up withdrawing. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. So he withdraws. I withdraw. I'm going to Ice Spirit into the Wood Chen. He's going to go into Gargle Knuckle because he thinks I'm going for an E Speed. That's totally fine. I'm really cool with that. I'm really cool with that. I'm not Choice. I'm not none of that. And okay, cool. Dragonite does not take Poison because it's uh, it's Flying type. I'll take that all day. But Shen Pao is going to be Poison. Kind of hurts the soul. Kinda hurts the soul. So we went to Rasalize or Dragonite. Dragonite is gonna be that Pokemon that we need. Uh Gargle Knuckle, we could clear up with Dreadnought, but Wo Chen's gonna be our main problem here. So we go for the normal terror type because I thought maybe, just maybe, he would be going for like a free stride or something. But I Terrasalize. And he's also gonna Terrasalize. Into what typing is the real question? What typing is your Wo Chen going to do? Wild, a wild poison type. That's a perfect terror type. That is the most perfect terror type for the team that I have. So Ice Spinner's gonna fly here. We're just trying to do as much damage as I can. And that's not bad. We get a nice little crit on that. I'll take crit all day. And he seeds up. He is going to seed up here. This is a problem. He's got the stall on lock, right? He's got the stall on lock. Do I hard swap Dragonite into Shen or into Dreadnought? Could be a good play for us. Just to get the lead seed off, and then we kind of roll out from there. I could get down for that, and maybe just protect Shen Pao, because a Salt Cure could come in here up against Shen Pao. That would be a problem. We're just, we just tons of problems right now. Tons of problems right now. So yeah, I'm going to swap in a Dreadnought. We have to figure something out here. And I could Sacred Sword you, which I think I'm going to do. Or I could just stick with Ice Spinners and keep going after Wo Chen. Which I think that's going to be more so my play. Because if I can choice ban into the water move, that could be pretty solid. 
I'm gonna swap. We love it. Friend all coming out here. We're gonna get rid of the leech sheets too. Protect comes out from the wood chain. Mm. Protect does come out from the wood chain. He's gonna salt kill me. Very serious coming. I might have to swap Shen Pao next turn, but we'll see. He's just, he's just playing for the, the slow play. And Salker ends up going into my Drenol. Kind of hurts, but I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get after these guys. I might double down the Wu Chen here. Do I go for that? Do I double down the Wu Chen? This Gargle Knackle could protect here. I'm getting chipped up by this damage, too. This is bad. This is bad. This is real bad. <laughs> this is all teams insane. It's absurd. So do we die next turn? We are going to die next turn. We have to make a move. I think Gargi just protects, to be honest with you guys. I could go into an EQ. And I could protect my Shen Pao. This is all going to be choice. Or I could go straight into a Waterfall. It's all going to be choice, but this is going to be Stab in the Rain. This is going to do a lot of damage. And so, you know what? I'm just going to... Uh, do I do this? I think Gargi protects, right? I'm going to double down on Wu Chen. I'm going to double down on Wu Chen. He ends up just withdrawing Wu Chen, which is wild. The withdrawal on the Wu Chen comes out here. That's actually big time for him. He's going to sacrifice his Deli Bird. Waterfall is going to fly. Ice Spinner is going to slide over. And Dreadnought goes down. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. No bueno. No bueno because this Gargonacle is going to be a pain to take out, right? So defensive bolt. I really needed something to get after us, but we don't have it. Now he just salt cures me. I can't swap my Shen Pao. And yeah, that's game set match. He's going to hop in here, protect. We got nothing. We can't, we can't do anything. We're dead. Wow, this team was nice. That team was awesome. I'm a fan of Salt Team, so right there, that, that that's a team I would I would love to use. But Dreadnought's gonna die out here to Salt Cure. I think Chen Pao might even too. We're just sitting tough because they could just double protect and take out Chen Pao next turn. Salt Cure chipping up. Wow, yeah, they just protect its game. It's game set match. We do have Dragonite out here. The Dragonite to see, but I can't really do a lot of damage here. I can't really do a lot of damage. They're just going to protect anyway. Plus, once Shen Pao goes down, the ability wears off. It's just terrible. It's ugly. I do have my like, nice, lovely Citrus Berry. Or my Lumberry to cure his poison. Now that I'm normal. Tablet's Ruin. Attacks down. It's just bad. This is just bad news. Yeah, I'm just going to run this battle. Yo, great match from our opponent here in match number two. They played the stall perfectly. They had the Salt Cures up the poisons. Lead C with Wu Chen. We just weren't stopping it. Third and final match coming at you guys, and that Wo Chang Lamora team was just, it was too much to handle, right? They set up the poisons, they get out the bulky Pokemon. It's just, it's just terrible. It is just terrible to go up against them. Props to our opponent, though. That was a great match by them. You're just on a ticking timer after that point. You're like, leech seeding, you're salt cured, you're poisoned as well. You're just like, dude, I'm going to die soon. I got to make something happen. And then you can't KO the Pokemon because they're just so bulky. But third and final match coming at you guys. We're going up against a Shen Pao and Chiyu team with Dragonite for the Shen Pao, Flutter Mane for that uh, Chiyu, and then they also have Palafin and Amoongus. Um, uh, I could go Don Dozo. I could go in with Rain Combo, which I, I'm down with the Rain Squad. We're going to do that. Same team that we had in match number one. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. My only problem here is I set up the Rain for Palafin. Always a problem. Always a problem. But they do not have Fake Out, which can work very, very well in our favor. Because I can just swap if I want to. Pop this to Surf, all that good stuff. Really depends who they go into. But I definitely have to probably swap turn one. Get a defensive boost, special defense, and regular defense boost. They kind of just start getting after it from there. But we'll see who they want to go into. It's going to be Dragonite and Palafin. So, if I had to guess, they're just going to hard swap into... Into Shen Pao here. And yeah, Surf is going to be lovely. Surf is going to be absolutely amazing. So, I'm just going to Terra. I'm going to pop the Surf. It's going to be not very effective on the booth, but still. Can do some big time damage. And I'm going to just swap, get that plus, plus two boost on every single stat category. It's a pretty simple combo. It's just swapping the Don Dozo. It's pretty much the original Don Dozo combo, but just the movesets are different. You just set the rain first. So Amoog is going to come out here first. We do have Sleep Talk, which is going to be very, very good for us. And I still think, I still think that this Surf does at least half. And if it does, that's going to be big time because then we can just Surf again and take it out. So lovely little Amoogus comes out here. <clears throat> Hopefully the Dragonite's not Rock and Thunder Punch like our Dragonite. I know a few of them do and a few of them don't. So we'll just see and we'll go from here. Dragonite might even protect them. Surprised the Shen Pao didn't come out here. So we know they got Palafin. They probably have Shen Pao. Shen Pao's got to be the last Pokemon. If you're rocking Dragonite and Palafin, 
Shen Pao's definitely there for the first time prior, so that is something we will have to watch out for. We definitely indeed have to watch out for it. But the good thing about my Shen Pao is it outspeeds both of them. Actually, it won't outspeed the E speed, but we can Sucker Punch before Jet Punch on a Palafin, which is really, really good. Do I Terrasize the Don Dozo? Are you going normal, Terra? You are switching your typing. That's actually really good for us. And are you going normal? Hopefully you're going after the Pelper slot. Go straight normal. It was for the normal Terra, which is a bit weird. Maybe he thinks I'm going for an order up. That might be what he's thinking I'm doing. E speed's gonna come out here into the Pelipper slot. Ooh! Woo! We like that turn. We like that turn. Surf coming out here. Should do a good chunk of damage. Unless he's multi-scaled onto Dragonite. And that might be multi-scaled, but the sad part is there. That do we go into wave crash here and just finish off you? I think that's my play because I think he might protect and spore he withdraws dragon. Egg. Good thing we went into the wave crash. I don't really want to be spored. I do have sleep talk, but I do want to get rid of some Amoongus here. So I'm just gonna get rid of the Amoongus. We are just gonna get rid of Amoongus here. We are opting to go for the wave crash now. Bigger boost and damage should be able to get rid of the signal. No problem. See you later, alligator. Yeah, awesome, dope. Great call from us. I figured he would protect, but the swap's fine. The swap is fine. So I'm losing some damage to recoil and life orb. Going down a little bit, but if I can get off one more surf, I think this has a dub for Don Dozo. Because then we also come out with the choice scarf after his turn. Which is lovely. The Shen Pal's out and about. You can sucker punch me. They can jet punch me, but I feel I feel fine with this. I feel fine. Surf should be able to do a huge chunk of damage. Should be able to do a huge chunk of damage here. Jet Punch comes out here. We're soaking pretty well. Are you going for Sucker Punch here as well? You are not. So we're going to bring you, you down to Focus Ash. Focus Ash comes out from the Shen Pao. 100% here. Palfin might die to this. It does not. It does a nice chunk to it though. That's a nice lovely chunk. And it's good to know we outspeed the Shen Pao. But he's probably just Sucker Punches us next turn. Sacred Sword comes out here. We're down to 6 HP. We are dead. Um. Hmm. They're going to get a free shot off one of my Tatsugiri, which kind of sucks. Is there a way around this? Can you swap on Dozo? You can. I mean, I'm fine if they get off a free shot. Like I said, I could sucker punch Pal if you're not be too worried about it. I guess we'll just go for a surf. So they're going to go for a free shot. Probably going to go for an Ice Spinner. Jet Punch Ice Spinner. Which could be tough. Which could definitely be tough. But yo, Don Dozo can't <laughs> work done in today's video. Ice Spinner does fly. That's exactly what I thought would happen. And you dropped it. Out. Ouch. Ouch. I, li I like the white uh, tattoo gear. I think it looks tough. But now I bring out these two. And like I said, I can sucker punch that pal for no problem, right? Dragonite's there too. Dragonite's a little annoying, but we have Dragonite down pretty low HP. So I think from here we just sucker punch the Palafin and we just hurricane drop the Shen Pal, right? I think that's our best bet. Does he have any moves to take out Pelper? Probably, right? This is tough news. This is tough news, but sucker punch KOs you all day. So we get rid of Palafin, cool, cool, cool. And the thing is that the defense is dropped. So I need Pe Pelper to actually eat up a shot. And he opts to go after you, which I love. Thank you very much. You should have known I was Focus Ash. Awesome, dope, cool. Now we get rid of uh, Shen Pao because Hurricane's land 100% of the time. And now it's 2v1 up against a Dragonite. So I could Sucker Punch. I don't think I Sucker Punch. That's the problem. I don't think I Sucker Punch. Because if he E-Speeds me, E-Speed's going to get a priority. It's plus two priority, so it's going to beat out Sucker Punch. So I might as well just go for a Hurricane here. And I could Protect, but I'd rather go for an Ice Spinner just in case they, he opts to go for the Pelper. But yeah, there's the E-Speed. That's why Sucker Punch wouldn't have been the play. And you see, you do go for Pelper. And that's exactly why I went into Ice Spinner. Because if I went for Sucker Punch, it would have failed there. It would have failed. So, perfect. We made the right call there. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. And we get to showcase probably the most broken Don Dozo I've used. This was hands down the most broken Don Dozo team I have ever used. I was not expecting it to be this strong, right? You had the Surf. You got the Water Terror, the Life Orb, and the Tatsugiri boost on top of that. It's just insane. We showcased it in match number one and match number three. We were just ripping through opponents, surfing left and right, 
hitting both opponents at the same time pretty much KOing them in one or two shots and just wrapping up the match in like three four turns it was just over once done those that took out one or two pokemon because i knew my back end pokemon could easily clean up the matches but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positive today and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out everybody